Right everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm gonna do a video today, um, it's gonna be a bit different. I'm gonna be reviewing a Liber light, which is a light that I got sent for free to do an honest review of. And it's one of those lights that um, is claimed to produce DMT-like effects. Um, there's one um, similar light that's quite well known called the Angelite. Um, and I've been interested in it for a while actually. I heard um, Dennis McKenna talking about it. Um, he was speaking about it on the Joe Rogan podcast and I was interested, um, especially in how they would work with sound um, because I do sound healing. So I'm really interested how they worked with sound, um, it was with sound baths and singing bowls. So anyway, um, yeah, I, basically the manufacturer of, of this light, which is, um, let me just check, uh, lightbath.co.uk. Um, yeah, they just sent me an email and asked if I wanted to review a bit. Uh, I'm not getting paid for the review, but they did give me the light for free to do with the honest review. So I'll show you the light and how it works. And then um, I've got a beautiful helper, my friend Claire, who's going to um, have a session with it. And, we'll, and I'll show you a bit of that. And then I'll show you me using it. And then we'll talk about, you know, how we, how we found it afterwards. All right. So this is the light. Um, when you turn it on, that that uh, comes orange on the front, as you can see. Um, there, are, there are two buttons. You hold down the plus button here, and that will, if you're holding it down, it will um, increase the intensity of the light. So you can go all the way up to five. There's also a remote, um, so while you're lying down, you can do that, and there's a button to hold it, so if there's a certain light pattern that you're enjoying you can press hold and it will stay on that one um yeah you get a little adapter i can't think of the name to attach it to a stand and then there's just a power power cable um i guess <laughs> one thing i could say is it could be longer because when you've got it on a stand for using for example on a therapy bed like this a massage table um it's not long enough to reach the floor um but yeah that's basically what you get. Um, there's a little booklet here. Pocket guide to becoming a light traveler. And yeah, the manufacturer um, claims that it produces DMT like experiences. Um, and um, yeah, that it's powerful for meditation and relaxation. So we're going to give it a try. flashes seemed quite obvious so right. rather than and there was one bit of the sequence where it became more visual and there was a bit where it was kind of spinning around and that bit was quite cool but some of the rest of it was more just flashy um so to start off with that was a bit but then i ended up getting into quite a meditative state actually kind of midway through and it was like i went deeper inwards and then i became really less aware of the visuals. So it was like I didn't even see it almost. It was as if it was almost sending me, I don't know if it sent me a bit deeper, the fact that the flashes were there. But then I was kind of aware that I was in this deeper space. So I almost was pulling myself in. And when I did that, I was able to feel the visuals inside. Because to start off with, it was very much external. So rather than like a psychedelic experience where you're feeling the visuals and you're kind of controlling it. It was 
very much external. It was like something that I was being presented with. But when I was able to really pull myself internal, I was able to almost pull the visuals internal as well. So then I did feel it in my body a bit more, but only for like a short period of time. Um, and I did feel that listening with music and listening without music, I, I liked the experience with the music because I felt that it complemented the lights um, and was able to take me deeper, but I don't know if that was the music or the light. Um, but then there was one point where I was actually seeing my own visuals anyway, so that was overlaid on top. Um, so then that made me very aware that what I was seeing was external and not kind of anything kind of third eye projected. Um, so yeah, that was, but it was quite an interesting experience. this light a few times now so I'm going to give um, my review of, of my experiences with it. Um, I'll, I'm going to echo some of the things Claire said actually in her review. I think it's it's very, I found it a peaceful experience for the most part and I found it to be very relaxing. I, I've tried this with someone playing crystal singing bowls and that was really nice. <laughs> um, and I found that the patterns seemed to react to the sound. It was like with the sound, it, the experience was intensified. So I do think the combination of the, the light with the sound is very beautiful. In terms of the actual visual experience, there was quite a lot of visual, uh, like fractally sort of spinning patterns, spiraling patterns. They seem to me like more akin to, I don't, you know, if you like push in your eyes, uh, if you like push on your eyes for quite a while and then just close your eyes afterwards, you'll you'll start to see these patterns. Or some people do, I, I do. And the, um, the yeah, the the patterns that you experience with this light, they feel more akin to that than say, um, like a psychedelic experience or when you have third eye, um, vi visionary experiences. Because in those, in the psychedelic experience or in the third eye visions, it's like you, the visions are all encompassing. They are, they're coming from this inner place in a sense. Um, whereas with this light, it seems like it's more of an external thing that you're watching. You, there's not the emotional involvement. There's not the, and yeah, it's just patterns. It's not, um, <laughs> you know, beings or uh, spirit guides or anything like that so it suggests to me that this is more this light is more a phenomena affecting like the the um, the eyes and uh, I'd, I'd, I don't know how much it's activating the pineal gland for example from my experience I found it very relaxing it's, it is good for getting you into a meditative state and I will potentially use this with sound healing uh, for clients of mine um i can my experiences with it that was that was um very beautiful i guess one kind of criticism i would say of this particular light is that the patterns this seem to it seems a bit random with this changing of patterns all the time and you'll be in one that's feeling good and then it'll shift again and you can pause them with the remote you can hold a pattern if you're enjoying it but I feel there could potentially be more care taken to or more emphasis on a, a journey that the lights take you. It, it just feels like one minute you're like flashing quite frantically and then it might be slow. Um, I feel like if there's a bit more of a journey with it, perhaps that would be a benefit. So yeah, that's, that's it. Overall, it's, 
yeah it's good it's it's meditative meditative it's relaxing it helps um get you into a a meditative state but as far as the pineal gland activation i'm unsure there is visual phenomena for sure <laughs> um but yeah they, they do seem somewhat different to third eye visions or if you've taken psychedelics or anything like that so yeah that's my review of the libel light um i hope you enjoyed the video there's a link in the description if you want to find out any more like to their website and stuff and so yeah hope you enjoyed the video much love